Welcome. Today I'm going to break down some basics of C++ and for that I'm going to use my yard to feed conversion program that I've shown you of a video in a video a few days ago. First we'll start up at the first line. Um, the two backslashes, these trigger a comment line, meaning anything to the right of it will be a comment. I have two comments here. First is programmer where I display my name and program which displays the name of the program. You can enter it anywhere you want. This will you can add it as a node, you can add it as instructions for other programmers that may work on the program. This is a good way to remind yourself later on if you're working on something heavy. Uh, the next thing we see is sharp include IO stream. This includes some of the functions that you see with throughout the program including C out, C in, uh, end line, system pause, without include IO stream and without using namespace standard you will not be able to use the C out C ends and your program would basically be worthless. You just get a load of errors and it wouldn't run at all. As you can see here I'm using a semicolon. This semicolon ends the line. Without the semicolon you'd get errors and it wouldn't know that the line in the command actually ended. It would think you're, you're saying using namespace standard void main in one go. So it's essential to close your lines before you get any errors. The next thing we see is void main. This is the start of your actual program, the things you can actually see. Some people use int main. I'm using void main here because it really doesn't make a difference as to what outcome I'll get at the end. This void main just, is just saying that the program will return a value and most likely it won't be a zero and the void main doesn't have a semicolon at the end because I'm not ending it. I'm beginning the void main with this open bracket and I'm ending it with this close bracket here. You see this um, in my other program that shows you how to loop using the for function. I don't use a semicolon there, I use two brackets before the start of the program and where I want it to end and repeat. Next thing we see is the float these are the variables. Uh, last time I had int for integer. Integer allows you to have just single, not single digits, I'd say uh, digits without decimal points. Integers don't, doesn't see decimal points and I used integer so you'd use whole numbers. So if you had 3.33 yards to convert, convert into feet, it'll only see 3 yards. Not, it will not see the .33. But with float, it will recognize the decimal places to a certain degree. It does end and after that you can start using double, long double and there are others as well. Other variables include ch which is character. These are single digits, single characters. Uh, they can be numbers, letters. And once again you have to end it with a semicolon and to separate variables you use a comma. You don't use space uh, That'll just give you errors. Now you come down to the C out. The C out is the output that you see on the screen. This is just outputting uh, what I'm saying here, such as please input the number of yards. These two arrows cascades it, and it's telling the program that whatever is in the right of it up to the semicolon is being outputted onto the screen. As you can see, I'm using double quotes here. Double quotes here tells you that these are actual words that you want to up you want to output onto the screen without the semicolon it may think that these words here are actually commands and it'll give you errors the cn is the opposite of the c out it's the input i'm asking people to enter the number of yards so i'm inputting in the arrows here is telling you that whatever is to be entered here is going into the system for the calculation below. And this is the actual formula. If you were writing this on a piece of paper, you would probably write it out the same way. Feet equals to yard times three. And you ended with a semicolon here. And here again we see a C out. This is the output. And we cascade it, telling us that whatever is in the right of it will be display displayed on the screen. The yard here isn't in isn't inside quotes because 
I want this ER to display whatever the input was. So if this was a 3, this will display a 3. If this was a 5, this will display a 5. And I have to cascade it again. And between these two posts here, I am showing these are the words that will be outputted. If I didn't have this, uh, the system would get errors. If I didn't have the S here, uh, it may display, if you put 3 here, it will display 3 here, 3, 3, and equal to probably give you an error. And I'm cascading it here again. And the feed here is the output, is the outcome of this formula. So if you input 3 here, 3 times 3 is 9. It'll get the value here, 9. And this will automatically return here into feet. So it'll be 3 yards equal to 9 feet. Cascading it again. And end line, it's something that you can use because of IO stream and the namespace standard. Without those two, you will not be able to use end line. This basically tells the program that whatever is to come after it should be put on a new line. You can actually put two end lines in one go. You have to cascade it if you want to make two two spaces between this and whatever is to come. And finally, we have the system pause. This is at the end of the program where you see it say, please enter any key to continue, and the program usually closes. If you didn't have this here, the program would close automatically. Uh, unless you read at the speed of light, you would not be able to get the outcome of anything. It would just close as soon as the input came in. So this helps. And, you w and you're able to use this, again, because of include IO stream, include namespace, uh, using namespace standard. There are other sharp includes such as OStream, IP, Manip, and MathH. I don't know all of them by heart. They all serve with different functions. They all allow you to use different commands within the program. Uh, such as my other program, I have include sharp include MathH, uh, which allowed me to use the square root function. Uh, if I use square root here, it will just give me an error. But let's run this program as it is. Uh, as you see here, um, this says, please input the number of yards. We see the output here. Please input the number of yards. And that's what is displaying here. When I enter the 3 in here and I press enter, this is the input here. The C in yard. I enter, and that's the input. This program will automatically calculate um, will actually input the yard here. It will multiply by 3 and display the feet. And the last C out we see here is C, um, well, we see three, 3 yards equal to 9 feet. That's the yard here. That's the 3 here. The 9 is what's calculated here and is brought down here. And at the bottom we see please press any key to continue. It's on a new line because of the end line here, and, and it didn't automatically close because we had the system pause there. Let's see what would happen if I commented this out and I ran the program. Uh, okay, let's see five. See, it automatically closed. Uh, these are just some basics of C++. Uh, there are a lot more. I'm not an expert with C++, but this will help you figure out what I was doing with this program when I was writing it. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll try to post more programs later on. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Enjoy.